Hello Internet. I do apologize for the delay. However, this time it was intentional because uh, I had two appointments uh, this uh, this week and I wanted to wait until both of them were out of the way before I did a recap rather than do two individual videos. Um, the first appointment was with my liver surgeon. Uh, he took a look at the drains. Uh, he said that it's going pretty well. He is a little bit concerned about the color of the drain for one of them. Um, he said that if um, it's still that color by next week, uh, then he's going to have to consult with a GI doctor to see what they can uh, do about that. I guess he's thinking that there's um, there's a mix of fluid going on there that shouldn't be going on. I don't know. I voiced some concerns about my uh, fluctuating temperatures, which seem to be uh, holding in the 99s, occasionally straying into 100 not getting above 101. And he said that that's kind of normal. The liver has taken a massive hit, uh, what with the surgery and the abscesses, the, the infection, all that. Whenever the liver takes that kind of a beating, it will definitely affect your temperature. Uh, but he said as long as it doesn't go over 101, uh, just regulate it with Tylenol. He said I can do about four grand... Uh, 4,000 milligrams a day, so I guess four grams. So I'm going to continue to do that, but I definitely do feel it. I feel warm, like, all the time. And then his nurse changed the dressings on uh, the drains. Um, and ever since then, uh, it's actually caused me more pain, not less. Um, so uh, they, may not have, they may have to adjust that. Uh, also, I discovered this week... Uh, that they started to leak. Uh, see, I have to flush uh, the tubes every day with uh, saline, uh, and it goes into my body uh, and, you know, makes sure that the tube stays clear. Um, and the last few days that I've been doing that, uh, I've been flushing, and it starts to leak out around the insertion site. Uh, I let them know that, and they said that they're not necessarily concerned, uh, that could go a couple of different ways. Uh, one, uh, the good way, is that the abscesses are getting smaller, and so they can't hold that much fluid, and so that's why it's squirting out around. Um, the bad way is that there's something wrong with the tubes. Uh, so she told me to flush with less fluid, basically stop as soon as I feel it start to, start to leak, um, which is not much of a comfort to me, but okay, that's what I'll do. I have a CT scan next Friday, uh, so they'll take a look at what's going on inside my liver, uh, and uh, then I will meet with the liver surgeon immediately following that, and we'll, we'll go over the results. Yesterday, I had an appointment with the infectious disease doctor, uh, who has been in charge of my infection. He took me off of the PIC line. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, PIC line's gone. He's, that's... That's the insertion point. That's where the stitches were that held it in. Um, pick line's gone. Uh, the infusion pump is gone. Uh, very, very glad to be rid of that. Uh, he switched me over to oral antibiotics, two of them. Uh, and I have to continue those for a month. And I will see him at the end of that month to see how I'm doing. Also during that appointment, uh, he weighed me. And I came in at 141 pounds. Uh, this means that since my surgery, I have lost 20 pounds. That's bad. That's really, that's really bad. Um, a lot of it is due to all of my hospital visits. You know, I spent like 24 seven lying down. I mean, I'd get up and, and go for little walks, you know, occasionally, but most of the time I was lying down. Um, and then at home, I, I, I get around, I walk around, but, um, I don't go very many places. And uh, even when I do, I get exhausted very quickly. I had to go grocery shopping yesterday. And by the end, just pushing a cart around, I was exhausted. I, I really could not stand it. And, uh, it was bad. I've been too tired to do almost anything. Uh, simple chores are very difficult for me. I think I mentioned in a previous video that normal tasks are this process now. 
because I have the drains and because I had up until recently I had the pick line um, and I was tethered to a machine. Now I'm not, and that's great, but I still got these tubes and it's just, it's so hard to um, do things that I find myself just sort of vegging out and uh, it's, it's frustrating. Um, uh, Maria has been helpful though. Uh, she has been bringing me uh, snacks to help fatten me up a bit. Um, I'm doing my best to eat, but I don't really have much of an appetite. Um, but I, I have to because uh, I can, it, it can get worse. I can continue to waste away. And she talked about muscle atrophy. She talked about pressure sores just from sitting or lying down all the time and me not having a lot of cushioning between my bones and um, my skin, the surface of my skin, uh, that can compress and um, that, can, that can be very serious. Um, I, I work with the disabled, so I know this. Um, people who you know, can't move around on their own, they need to be adjusted occasionally or else pressure sores are, are a risk. So I'm working on doing that and it's kind of funny because she's recommending me to um, sort of snack mindlessly. <laughs> I mean, mo mostly on healthy foods. I have a trail mix that has a variety of stuff in it, like, you know, peanuts, cashews, raisins, M&Ms, just for some chocolate. Um, and, uh, but I mean, just like mindlessly snacking on that while I'm, you know, watching stuff on my computer. But it's just funny to me because that's the opposite of what people tell you to do in order to be healthy. But I have to do that in order to keep my weight uh, up. I'll worry about healthy eating later. Right now, I just want to not be a skeleton. But yeah, that was my week. Um, and, uh, and like I said, I've got that appointment next Friday uh, with the liver surgeon and um, with the, the CT scan and then liver surgeon. And uh, hopefully we will have some good news. Uh, maybe they are correct and the abscesses are smaller and uh, the, the drains can come out soon. Uh, I would very much like that. Having these, these bags hanging from my rib cage is painful, constantly painful, and, uh, and they get in the way a lot. But yeah, that's, that's it for now. Um, so I will probably not update until next Friday, uh, unless something happens between now and then. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. So uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.